Well, thanks everybody for a really fascinating series of presentations over the last three days. I want to, I want to start out with some specific thanks and speakers were all fabulous. Uh, thanks, Sarah, for uh, really making this workshop a success. Uh, thanks to all of the co-directors of the Carbon Removal Initiative for uh, putting the pieces in place. And thanks to the steering committee for uh, really assembling a vision that just uh, clicked, at least for me. And thanks also to the um, to the background team that made this happen, including Jennifer Milne, Vicki Yu, uh, Maxine Lim, and Justin Warren. Uh, it's, gone, it's gone flawlessly, except for my not being aware of who was on and off the screen. You know, when I, when I look over what I've seen in the past three days, it's, it's really impressive to me how much progress we're making in this area and how in the area of technology and policy and finance, we're seeing these real edifices of, of progress that are uh, doing exactly what we need in terms of, of building for the future. Uh, there's been a, a lot of recognition of the fact that we're not on the trajectory that we should be and we need to find a dramatic acceleration. But it's really impressive to see the individual pieces and also the vision of how the pieces fit together, particularly in terms of generating um, sustainable finance to advance the technologies, to learn by doing and to deploy the kind of diverse portfolio solutions that we're eventually going to need. The, the really compelling uh, aspect of, of all the presentations is the emphasis on scale. And you know when we think about solving the climate challenge, we, we always come back to the problem of scale and how when you're doing anything at the level of billions of tons per year, the kinds of uh, philosophies and policy levers that work for scaling software or social media that just don't work and we need to be a lot more uh, disciplined and we need to have a lot longer term vision to deploy the solutions to the climate challenge at scale. Uh, one of the things that was interesting to me about the presentations we heard over the last several days is an emphasis on, on diverse theories of change and um, recognizing that there, there is a big gap between aspirations and progress, and that it's only by being nimble and creative, willing to recognize that we need to learn by doing, that we're going to have a chance of, of making the kind of progress and the kind of acceleration that we need in order to reach the ambitious climate targets that will make so much difference for future sustainability. So let, let me close with just three quick thoughts of what my take home messages were. Uh, the first is that although we have lots of impressive technologies that are that are under development, uh, we really need a lot of work in moving along learning curves to drive down prices, to uh, figure out what's going to be socially acceptable, and to make sure that the deeply important questions of equity in the deployment and access to these technologies for people at all levels of income is going to be available. Even though we have a lot of technologies that are increasingly ripe, there is a tremendous need for, for more investment in, in learning by doing, taking an adaptive approach, recognizing that a lot of things that look promising today uh, may run into unexpected barriers, and a lot of things that are really at nascent stages may turn out to be transformative. I think probably the most important take home message for me is the critical centrality of the conversation between different stakeholders in, in this enterprise, uh, between civil society, companies, governments, and the academic community. I was really inspired by all of the things I learned this week, and I know that I'll be embedding those in, in my own research programs. And I hope that all of you will also have the opportunity to take advantage of this learning as we build, a, build this shared agenda together. Thanks so much for joining us and I wish everyone the best. So again, I would like to thank all of our speakers from the last three days. I would like to thank our organizing committee. I would like to thank um, our student note takers. 
And I would thank, like to thank um, all of you in the audience that uh, participated and joined us. So thanks again and have a great rest of your day.